Oh, Rainbow Road. Okay, now this is probably my favorite course on this game, to be honest. This and Coconut Mall are pretty much tied. I mean, I just love racing this course. And I can pretty, m I pretty much have it down, where I barely make mistakes. And when I play online, of course, it's the best course, because a lot of people have problems here. And I do really good here, so it's always really nice. I mean, I can just go to town on this course, pretty much. And I screwed up there. <laughs> yeah. At a bad angle, going into that. But I mean, if when I when I played this game, like, normally, like, I usually never screw up here. Don't want to get pushed off. But... I mean, pretty much all the Rainbow Roads, well, not all of them, one on the 3DS I hated, but I think I talked about this last time. Like, 64, GameCube, and this one, I love all of them, pretty much. But I'd have to say this is the best, just because I love racing here. I just think it's really fun, exhilarating just racing here and all that. I think I just knocked Yoshi off. Who's winning? Bird off? Okay. Back to the lead. I mean, just like the music pumps me up or something, and I just love racing here. And that was unfortunate. And I usually always go off those things. Try to. Are you kidding me? Hey Daisy, what's up? Jerk. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> did I knock her out? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's gonna so oh, wow, I'm surprised that didn't screw me over. <laughs> Thought I was gonna fall right into the pit. It's really nice when you hit off that, when you get a bunch of those jumps and you hit off that edge. Um, you can pretty much go over the middle of those two circle things when that happens, but it doesn't happen too often. You gotta get really lucky just land on one of those, get a huge boost. <laughs> I thought that was going to screw me over too. Yeah, see, I end up with a huge lead, like I usually do. Most most of the times. I mean, usually people hate racing here. And they just don't like the track because it's hard to, hard to race at, but... You know. Yoshi and Birdo are tied for second. Okay, hmm. where are we going? We're a sixth of the way through. Luigi circuit, okay. Funny how we <laughs> did what's normally the last race and now we're doing what's normally the first. See ya. <laughs> I love the start of races, just so hectic. Yeah, this is one of those tracks that's it's like pretty much so it's so small, really items can really define who wins here and all that. And if you get hit like by a blue shot in the last lap, people aren't going to be too far behind. It's not a hard track to race at. People will always be right there, usually. And that was an accident. Accidentally doing a wheelie. I still have a huge lead though. I don't know 
how I got a huge lead. I guess they just got hit by a bunch of items. I'm not complaining, but you know. Coconut Mola. Um, I'd probably say it's my second favorite. Rainbow Road's probably gonna be my first favorite. And my third favorite is DK Summit. So, yeah. But I, I just love Coconut Mall. I think this one was back on the 3DS. I think it was one of the ones I was back. Hit me in midair too. Ooh. Yep. Uh -uh. I should have hit Yoshi and the chance, but. What's up? So something that I like about this map too is like those uh, escalators like change back and forth. And I lo if you like go fast enough around the track without making too many mistakes, you can catch them like before they change and whatnot. And I like doing that because then you know you'll, you know you do a good job, you know. Also, I always take the upper path on this one, other than the lower path. It's just something I always do, preference. And then you got these three. It's really hard to hit all three, but you can usually get two without any problem. Like, see, they were just changing right there, so... Just a little bit off. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Good night, good night, um. It's not night, um, I need. Okay. Good thing Yoshi ran into that jerk. I think I was in the third car there. Woo! That was a close one. Woohoo! Moo Moo Meadows! Oh yeah! And I just realized that I said we were one sixth of the way through after six. I thought it was 36, but it's 32. My bad. So we're pretty much almost one third of the way there. Almost. See ya. I love Moomoo Meadows. It's just, I, I love Moomoo Farms too. I mean, there's like just the names really make tracks fun and all that. <laughs> Trying to avoid all the cows and whatnot.
Easy win, easy win. 132 points. Let's see, 32 races. The most you can get is what, 320? I've, already, I've only lost one race, too. It's kind of sad. Okay, 10th race. DK's Jungle Parkway. Woo! How much does this change from the 64? It's not really changing, it's just like the jumps and the whatnot. Yeah, it's just really aesthetics, I think. So otherwise, it's pretty much still the same. Um, do they still throw coconuts at you? No, they don't. I think it's harder to get up the hill in this one because they put like more mud there. It's the only difference I can think of. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same track. And of course, since it's a different game, it feels a little bit different. Like the old tracks in this game, um, like this one feels like a little bit smaller. Like the track feels a little bit small. But I think there's some tracks where um, the track feels a little bit bigger too. I don't remember any off the top of my head, but I know there's some like that. Hey, Berto, what's up? Eh, it's not good. Oh, he almost hit that. See, this is what can happen, like, you get screwed over, like, a, you get hit by, like, two or three items in a row. Suddenly I'm not looking good for the win once I get some good items. That's a good item, I guess. Who's up here? Daisy and Berta, I guess Yoshi fell off or something. See ya. Okay, that kind of cost me a little bit. Um, I don't think a green shell is going to help me, especially when I run into that. And that happens. And yes, I'm going to get like really bad. Oh, maybe not too bad third. Could have done way better in that race, but. Oh well, I have a big lead anyway. <laughs> Pretty much gonna win. Next race. Desert Hills from the DS. track's kind of cool. I think this is one of those tracks where it, it... I don't remember exactly, but I think it might be one of those tracks where it feels bigger in this game. I think it's really like the DS and Game Boy Advance ones. Yeah, because like Shy Guy Beach felt like a little bit bigger. And SNES, because Ghost Valley feels like bigger. Like you feel smaller on the track. Just because of... I guess because you're... Like, the tracks aren't that big in the game, or you're playing on handhelds, so that might be a reason why, but... Like, this track, like, you have so much room, it feels like. My toes are in a second, there's a big gap to third. Yeah, 
wouldn't have been worth it getting that anyway. Toad's just right there. See, this is, I mean, really, this is what happens when, like, two, the top two don't really make any mistakes at all through the whole race. I mean, they get a huge lead. So that's a good thing. This game, I think, probably has some of the best AI, even though they're catching Toad now a little bit. But, like, it has some of the best AI when it comes to, like, this stuff. Or if you don't make any mistakes, you don't have a chance to lose the race. Unless somebody else is in the same boat. So. Because, as you see, me and Toad haven't made... Oh, crap. Okay, never mind. Ooh, that thing that... Nope, never mind, that didn't save me. Yeah, but see, stuff like that can still happen and screw you over. <laughs> Red shell, lightning bolt, red shell. I think I still would have won if it wasn't for that second red shell. But, you know. Toad didn't really make any mistakes, so Toad deserved it, I guess. I'm just talking about all that crap. But, like, they don't catch up 